If you are a seamer and bowl a lot of wides, this is the video for you. We are going to focus on two different aspects here. For the first aspect, we are going to focus on our alignment and making sure that we are just moving well through our bowling action. We are going to start next to the net, have a line of cones, and this is going to force us to move directly forward through our action while making sure that our arm doesn't move out of its line when we bowl it. So we go in with the net on the side of the arm to make sure we don't go from too wide, which could cost us some of our control. And then we go in the other way around to make sure that we don't fall away with the front side of our body in the action. This is important to make sure that when we hit the crease, all our lines are moving towards the target. And this is going to give us a much greater chance of hitting the area. For the second progression, we are now going to focus on the run up, through the crease and where we're actually bowling towards. To start this off, we have set out a line of blue cones. The first line of blue cones is on the stump side for the bowler. They are in a straight line to make sure that we don't zigzag out of it, to make sure that all our energy is going towards the target. The other row of blue cones is at a slight angle, but forcing you towards off stump. Because as a bowler, you're always wanting to be running towards off stump, because that gives you the energy towards where you're bowling. Moving on, we now have the hurdles. The hurdles are there to make sure that we have a good knee drive in the last step before the jump and then making sure that we jump over and forward. This helps us get our energy and momentum working towards the target so that when we're in the crease we can work through it with everything going towards the line where we want to bowl. As you'll see as we go forward lines are very important for this because now we're moving on to our yellow cones which is for our follow through. Initially you want to go nice and straight with your follow through and then you're going to veer off slightly to the side so that you don't run in the danger area and get on the wrong side of the umpires. Obviously, the follow through going straight at the start is just to help us finish off our action going towards where we bowl it and help us take away some of the impact that could hurt us in the future. The final thing we're going to look at is we have set out lighter cones, which are the wide lines for the right hand of batsman. Then we're going to use the darker cones to show the channel where we want to bowl to. How the drill is actually going to work is the bowler is going to be running up through the blue cones, making sure that their lines are good forcing the jump and the drive through on the hurdles to keep us going in one line, bowling the ball, following through the yellow cones and looking up to see if the ball is ending up in the channel. As we progress with this, once you're comfortable, we are now going to add a punishment into it. So it can be push-ups, burpees, jumping squats, whatever the punishment it is, it has to just be there so that it is something to replicate a game situation. Because when you're bowling a game, there's a lot at stake. So for this, we are trying to replicate that and make it feel as though if you do make the mistake, there is something on the line. Our philosophy is aim small, miss small. So this means that the smaller you make the target you are aiming for, if you can get consistently close to that, in the end and in the grand scheme of things, you're going to be close to your target in general. Whereas if you give yourself too much leeway for error, you're training yourself to be able to miss by far, which is going to be the wide ball in the long run. So working hard at making sure that these errors are good. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like below. Also remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get the content as soon as it releases. If you want to learn how to swing the ball, look to this video here.